What are Pokemon Go Runs and how to create them? As we can see now, that's how they're probably going to look like in the game of Pokemon Go. But before we dive right into the article, guys, we got to hear our word from our sponsor. Here they are. Hi, guys. Arthur here, owner of Camelot Shop, where we sell coins, raid passes, and all assortments of items in the shop of Pokemon Go. If you're interested in purchasing these items, you can go to the link in the description of the Discord in the description. Just to let you know, guys, we are running a promo on our coins and items and raid and raid shops. If you're interesting interested in those promos, it will only be on your first purchase. You'll get an extra thousand coins on your f first purchases of these shops. If you're interested, like I said, you can go to the link in the description. Uh, go to the Camelot Shop Guide, and we'll show you how everything's done there. Also, if you want those promos to continue to going to towards your purchases, then you must buy either a membership or a subscription on either YouTube or Twitch. And that's how you can continue gaining those promos where you'll get an extra thousand coins. Any more information on that, please go to the link in the description. DM the owner of the shop, me, and you can ask more questions there in the Discord. Thank you and enjoy the video. Bye-bye. A de de detailed guide on Pokemon Go routes and use their relevance in the gameplay. Alright, um, that's how they look like right now. I mean, or how people... I wonder if that's actually how they actually look like. If that's how the routes are going to be. Even though in the map it looks so short, it's going to be long. It's part of a long map. I mean, a long route. Despite a difficult beginning to the for, uh, the year, Pokemon Go received notable updates amid multiple controversies such as the recent remote raid nerf. I would not call that recent. <laughs> that would be like two, three, uh, I think two months ago. Wait, now it's going to be three months ago. The six. So it was, happened on April, April 6th. So I say on July, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow will be the three months anniversary for the nerfing of remote raids. Developers have also introduced many exciting features like the campfire app, which I am not a fan of, but if you are a fan of it, then I don't I don't mind you using it. I don't really care, but I'm not a fan of it guys. I'm not a big fan, especially since I don't play a lot as maybe y'all do. I don't play as much as uh, y'all would assume I play. Um, I do more content and then I play the game itself. So I don't mind doing a lot more content for y'all guys than doing, um, than playing the game. So I'm not a big fan because I don't use the game a lot and I don't like, I don't like, um, go to a lot of places when I'm doing the majority of the things are content creation. Among these new elements is the highly anticipated in-game routes feature which another thing that maybe y'all would like but i would not have any interest in in doing any routes uh, i would love to for them to remake the gym system the raid system the whole game aspect of the game um it needs a, a whole overhaul it needs a new makeup right now um it's been a long overdue too uh, Nerfantic intentions are transparent as the, the recent update mainly focuses on exploration, co uh, collaborative gameplay. The Pokemon Go routes feature makes the game more engaging and creative than before. I would assume that it, that's part of what the purpose is for the routes. Um, it'll show people like, okay, if you go through this and this, it'll, it'll give you a lot of information on the, the Pacific route 
this person created and it's also probably good for business and everything so that's pretty awesome about that's what's good for routes is for it's for good for business if you want to go know the area if you're like a person that's just coming into the city or to a town and you don't know what what it's about that's why routes are good for that uh, those communities it adds more layers to the gameplay and high, heightens the fun element involving the entire community. That said, everything currently known about the game's route system is here. All right, here we go. What are routes? What are they? Um, we keep asking that question. <laughs> uh, Pokemon Go uh, uh, routes allows trainers to document and share their walking routes with the the community uh, the the feature off uh, offers a wide range of possibilities players can record their paths from uh, hiking trails to everyday or in-game activities that involve walking basically it's like uh, like like a tour that's basically what routes are it's a tour of somebody's um, adventure like like a story, maybe a little story about somebody's adventure, somebody's walk through through that route. Uh, Nerfantic encourages um, innovation and ex expects players to use the new feature creatively. The feature all allows trainers to record and share their walking paths and discoveries with others. This enables the exploration of unique and hidden locations, making it easier for players to discover interesting spots and experiences yeah it's, oh yeah it's, it's just uh i think it would be sharing too right it'll be sharing uh that information to the world like what this uh, route is about players can create a route with multiple pokemon go gyms and pokestops so that's how it starts um you have to pick either a pokestop or a gym in order to begin the route and then I think you end it with the gym. Let me see. That offers a uh, Pokestop that offers many powerful spawns. One can make a route shaped of their favorite Pokemon or collaborate with different route making out a sizable in-game landmark. The possibilities are immense. This feature can mark out routes with multiple raid locations clustered nearby i think that's what that they had in ingress where they, i think that's what they're trying to say when they say that you, you can connect routes with uh, different people i guess and that's that's if that's what they're saying it says right like i said uh collaborate with different routes making out a okay so using different routes to make a different like a make a landmark or something like that it can help also uh, trace routes that offer numerous community day featured spawns these are just a few examples there are several uh, creative ways to use it that's one way like like this is like a route will be for especially for community day this will be like the best route to use for a community that's that probably would be one of those routes especially in a park that's what everybody does it anyways in a park or like in their downtown area city areas regarding the limitation nerfantic developers aim to in, uh, suppress offensive <coughs> offensive or inappropriate routes like these passing through restricted areas or shaped inappropriately the routes uh, feature offers a free form type of user generated content so you, um, it also, they also try to monitor, like, like, you can't say something offensive or inappropriate that it would offend or feel not right for, for people. No vulgar language or anything that's offensive. How to create routes in Pokemon Go? Well, we just heard in the previous one, you start with in any gym or Pokestop. Uh, creating routes in Pokemon Go is a relatively straightforward process one has to open the game 
axes the game axes the route feature mark their destination the game automatically tracks and maps their path as they walk along uh, allowing trainers to share their record route with the fan uh, community so they are allowed to share it I don't know if they will allow you to privatize it. Maybe show it to only your uh, friends list. If there is uh, some of your friends that are, do live near you in those friends list. Maybe you should. Yeah, so maybe I would assume that they're, they're saying to share by saying like if you want to share it or not. If you don't want to share it, you don't have to share it. Maybe you just want to keep it for yourself. <coughs> Or so that you can be safe. Um, this is what why I I would not use routes is because it's more of a safety issue. Because I would assume people would use this for nefarious reasons. Like, oh look, this is a path that this person walks through every morning, and then I can just go to that person's walk path and then do some nefarious things to that person. I don't know. That's why I don't I don't use any a feature that I would I would not use. That, that is bad. That people will use for nefarious reasons. Just like uh, the camp, uh, the campfire app. And um, now this right here. It's cool that you want to share. It's a cool thing that you want to share. Your location and everything about that. But I would not. Uh, I, to me I would not advise. I would not use this to. Uh, for that reason alone. Because I don't want to share anything. To some random person and, and say, "Hey, I got you. I used your route." But if you want to, you can. Uh, I'm not telling you not to. I just I won't do any of these new features in the game if I ever do play the game when I have a chance to. Routes offer two primary advantages. Firstly, trainers can catch different Pokemon along these paths, providing a benefit. Secondly, while walking on routes, trainers receive buffs that contribute to their gameplay experience and serve as a valuable source of XP. This feature uh, caters more to rural uh, Pokemon Go players or these seeking more XP opportunity. I, I would assume that that would be a good thing for uh, rural players, especially since they can get XP, other items, and all that, and, and good spawns as well. That's, that is a cool feature for rural players as well. So I, I can see why they would do that, uh, why Nerfantic would like to do this, to help out the community of, of rural players, try to gain them back, and this is one way. Is it a perfect way? No, nothing is ever going to be perfect to get people back and also help a, a rural community that needs help in playing the game. What would be best is to have like some random uh, gyms out there for the, those people, even though I, we know that they need to be landmarks. Uh, or maybe simple things, maybe like a like a simple McDonald's or something like that. That ha that has to be a gym. But I can see why this is would be a good reason to use this for especially that community, especially if you're, especially if you're in the rural play area and you want to show off like where you live and stuff like that. You want to share that experience, that gameplay experience. Maybe it's to show maybe how you actually can play in the game to Pokemon Go, to Nerfantic, and, and all that. So it's probably a good reason for role players to show how actually they actually can play the game and see how they are, how they play the game. That's a good, that's a cool, cool feature for them to show Nerfantic, how, how the struggle it is to be a role player. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Make sure to smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, ring the bell for notification. Share the video, put your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget about the links that were mentioned in the monster video. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out, guys.